A Plymouth pharmacy is getting accolades for its drug safety procedures. And Senator Al Franken used the company as a model to craft a bill aimed at keeping patients safe. Reporter Sonia Goins has more. Senator Al Franken toured the thrifty white pharmacy in Plymouth this morning. This pharmacy fills prescriptions for 3,000 beds in the city of Minnesota. So it's very busy. Senator Franken says the company helped him to craft a bill aimed at regulating large drug manufacturing companies. Franken wants the FDA to better check companies that ship large amounts of drugs out of state. What's caught up in the, uh, this regulation for the FDA is someone who's preparing compounds that are supposed to be that are sterile, someone who is doing it without a prescription or before there is a prescription, and someone is sh shipping uh, to another state. Companies like Thrifty White wouldn't fall under this category because they don't produce drugs in large volumes. Everything that we prepare is based on receiving a prescription from right. the prescriber and the product is prepared from that order for a specific patient. Thrifty White has several safety procedures in place, like the so-called clean room. It helps to keep drugs from being contaminated. The company is also helping to protect patients with devices like this timer cap. It lets you know the last time the bottle was open, the timer resets itself when you put the cap back on. That timer allows patients to remember the last time they took medicine. It also lets them know if the bottle was tampered with. Thrifty White officials say their number one priority is patient safety. We've been doing it for years, um, helping our patients um, by preparing something that is not commercially available. In Plymouth, Sonia Goins, 12 News. Senator Franken says he hopes the bill will prevent drug contamination like the case last year where more than 700 people were infected with meningitis due to contaminated steroids.